Blickman Engineering just informed us that the three-piece ball valves that they've been shipping from January through March 2010 were put together by the manufacturer with a little too much oil. And so we're going to show you how to take them apart and clean them to remove that excess oil. Uh, it's not a bad idea to do that anyway with any sort of uh, stainless steel equipment, whether you, it's saucepans in your kitchen or a boil kettle or a furminator for brewing uh, before you actually use it to wash it out. So let's take one of these apart and show you how to wash the oil off. Okay, this is the three-piece stainless ball valve from Blickman Engineering. Um, to take it apart, first thing you need to do is remove these bolts from the back. Um, this is a brand new one and it's going to take a 19 millimeter wrench. Um, when I was practicing, I found an older one that took a 12 millimeter. Uh, if you've got a really small adjustable crescent wrench, that'll work too. So you just loosen those four bolts on the back and then you can get them off by hand. Here is my first bonehead claws. Don't lose that locking washer. After I get these bolts out, I'm going to reassemble them with the locking washer and the nut just to keep track of everything. Once you get those loosened, you can remove everything by hand. And if you get them loose enough, you don't need to take everything all the way apart. You can get the ball valve section out. Um, these washers are in there very snug, so I'm just going to gently pry up on them with the wrench. You'll notice I am leaving the handle on. Now, if you've got a brand new ball valve that hasn't been used for anything, you could take that off if you wanted to. If you've got one that you are taking apart from a boiler maker or a furminator or something that's already got a, uh, a barb fitting on it, you want to remember which way is front and which way is back so that you don't put it together backwards. Uh, so that's why I leave the handle on. It will help you remember this way is front, this way is back. The last thing to do is to get the ball itself out of the valve. That should just kind of pop out. You might have to use a little bit of force if it's brand new. And to clean this off, fresh out of the factory, still a little machine oil on it, I'm just going to use ordinary dish soap. Drop all of the pieces in there. And let that work for a couple minutes. Dish pan hands. I'm going to drain these and rinse them really thoroughly with hot water because we don't want oil contacting our beer. We also don't want any dish soap contacting our beer. So we're going to wash it really thoroughly with hot water. Don't drop anything. See, there we go. I'm living dangerously. If you have a sink with a uh, stopper or a drain, make sure to use it. And that's why I kept the locking washers on the bolts. You'd be kicking yourself if one of those went down the plumbing. If you wanted to, you could also use PBW for this purpose. Uh, dish soap is uh, very effective on grease and oil, and since this, this is a new ball valve, I was more concerned about the oil than about any sort of uh, beer stone or brewing buildup uh, that you'd find in, uh, say, that other ball valve with the barb on it that came out of a boiler maker that's been used quite a bit. We'll spread these out and let them dry. Speed the process up here a little bit with a paper towel. You could also just let it all air dry. It 
smells lemony fresh, but soon it will smell malty and beery. Just the reverse order. There's a notch in the ball that has to match the bottom of the handle shaft. This is gonna take a little bit of doing. You wanna make sure it's centered and on there pretty good. And that when you turn it, it's not rubbing against the interior of the valve barrel. All right, once you got that, washers go back in. Put them in as snugly as you can by hand, and then we'll use the bolts to tighten them down the rest of the way. These two are going to match up with the slots where I took the bolts out. I'm going to wait to put all four bolts in before I tighten it down all the way. Make sure they're threaded on there smoothly. You don't want to cross thread these. All right, everything's working. Tighten these down. Thanks to the self-locking washers, you just need one wrench. Alright, that's ready for some star sand and some brewing. <laughs> 